So Hillsong Worship plays right into the hands of what Hillsong Church is doing. And it comes out of the life of our church. It comes out of Sunday after Sunday, our teams get up, they lead our church in worship. It's not something separate that sits over here that gets created in a studio separate to our church. It actually is for the people of our church, people that we know by name, the people that we love. Even though this is a studio album, this sounds more like a Hillsong Worship album and a Hillsong Church album than, than ever before. We're the church not just when we're together singing live in a room, but we're the church at all times. So one of the ways that we achieved the sound was using our choir um, in a really specific way in some really particular moments. We'll do the first half, which is the first two stanzas. The first stanza is going to be just super breathy, like barely a whisper. Okay, okay, everyone. No, like a kitten, a kitten who's landing on a like a very soft rug. <laughs> Some of these people um, I've known for 15 years now and um, they have walked through hell and back but they turn up every Sunday and they're faithful in our team and I think not just having their voices on their album but their experience, that's part of what makes Hillsong Worship Hillsong Worship and that is the sound of our house. And the dead rose from the tombs and the So they sound so beautiful, I'm getting very... Emotional. Good. There's a lot of stuff on the new album that I listen to and I think, wow, that's so fascinating. Like, it's interesting and a lot of it is just that Brooke pushed for certain things to happen. There's a lot more choir on the album than I would have expected to put on there. I think it's come out really good. Thank you. It sounds amazing. And it has been a dream. Oh, wow. I still love you. Brooke got a bunch of us worship leaders in, and she was calling it the Worship Leader Choir. So we were like, oh, yeah, cool. We're just going to come in and stand in front of a few mics. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming and being part of Woo! this spring. She goes, OK, so this is like not a usual choir recording, as you can probably already tell. We thought, let's get some of our worship leaders praying over the people who are listening to the album, praying over the church, praying for pastors, praying for worship teams, praying for the poor, praying for the suffering. We got them into the studio, and that's something that forms the heart and the meat of the sound. And you might not be able to hear it with your ears, but I believe people would be able to sense it with their spirits. Why I'm really excited about this afternoon and being with you guys is um, just like what I wrote on the email is for you to bring um, not just your voices and your gift but the spiritual authority that you have as leaders within our house and to really capture that as part of this project I think is really vital. We really um, value what each of you bring and are excited for your voices and your authority and your leadership to be felt um, in this and um, yeah so that's what we're going to do this afternoon. Today, Lord, we want to praise you and we want and we want to lift up um, your name. We want to we want to worship who you are. And Lord God, we pray that, that as we do so, um, that you would mark whatever this is, God, with your with your presence, um, with your Holy Spirit. And, and Lord, we we pray that you would anoint us to minister to people. We do all of this uh, for the glory of your name, Jesus. Amen. 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 We call upon your name, Lord Jesus. We call upon your holy name. Your merciful name, Lord God. I just remember praying so passionately that I forgot I was in a room. As uncommon as it might be, it probably makes the most sense. The more we can connect people to God through what we're doing, you know, it is worship. I think it was significant because when you, you know, that battle that it talks about in Chronicles, it was the worship team that was on the front line. It's like, yep, yeah, we're ready. To, we're ready to go to battle. And the result is that when people put on the album for the first time, they're going to be 
washed in, in, in prayer and washed in people praying and interceding for them. And they're gonna, they're gonna hear it, not necessarily so overtly, but they'll hear the bubbling texture of the people of God interceding for each other. So it's pretty cool, yeah.